Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing the next installment of Name This Spread in a big happy planner vertical layout. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. as I like to do, I'm going to put time stamps in the description box as well as the pinned comments. Uh, I will be doing shout outs from this video before I get started. I do want to uh, do a little bit of a shout out to someone who's reached out to me here on YouTube and then we'll get right into the planning. So this was the spread that I had set up for St. Patrick's Day. It was posted on March 13th. Yeah, it was one of my Saturday videos. And I'll just go ahead and do the shout outs now. Uh, Aaron at Oh My Goals had called this a Victorian St. Patrick's Day. And I thought that was really pretty. I'll go ahead and link her channel below. Luann had called this Irish Spring. Not to be confused with the soap, but not gonna lie, low key, that's one of my favorite scents. I love the smell of Irish Springs. Now, in recent years, I've had issues with my skin, so I can only use like ivory, um, unscented, no dyes, no anything. Um, but I, I'm not, you know, you, you might find me in the soap aisle sometimes just smelling bars of soap. It's not weird. <laughs> Denise J had called this St. Patricia Day or St. Patty's in the way of a female because it definitely is uh, more feminine than you'd see typically in a St. Patrick's Day. Betsy O had called this strolling through the garden. Mo at Better Late Than Broke, I'll go ahead and link her channel as well, had called this purple petal vibes. Mary W had called this the true celebration of spring. And that's like, oh, that's pretty. I live in Hawaii. It's, it's always spring, summer, winter, fall here, you know. It always looks the same. Maybe it's a little less hot. Maybe it's a little less rainy, but it's always green. I know it sounds like I'm complaining. <laughs> I'm not. Not really. <laughs> Dee Dee Bean had called this Pink Patty's Day. Tiffany Loves Planners had called this Lucky Florals. Hello, Miss Annette. Miss Sarah had called this Lucky in Life pretty in pink. Hello, Miss Andy. Kimberly M. had called this bloom where you are planted. Lynette Plans had called this spring garden. And Tanya, that's Tanya with a no, had called this pretty in pink. So I'm going to end the shout outs with Susie from at Susie's Cottage here on YouTube. I'll go ahead and link her channel below. But I'm also going to link her Facebook page group because uh, she is destashing some of her coloring books and coloring tools. Uh, she is trying to raise some money to uh, get a new fur baby. With the whole situation this past year, there was actually no shelter animals that she um, could get and love. And so she's just trying to raise some monies to get a new fur baby. And so if you can check her out, show her some love, show her YouTube page some love. Um, I actually ordered some books from her. And as I mentioned in a video that will go up before this one, I'm really hoping they come in like three or four weeks versus sooner because I've been a bit spendy this month and I just kind of want to stagger my purchases <laughs> because I don't know why I'm a grown woman, but still, you know still. <laughs> so that's the shout outs from this video. Uh, anyone who has a YouTube channel, I'll go ahead and link below. And this is um, where I write the shout outs. And I'm just going to stick this on the page. Oh, yeah. I'm like, why is why is that like that? I actually use the other side of this. So I will stick it here. Because what we're going to be working on today is actually out of something that I used to have. Well, no, that's stupid. Obviously, I still have it. It's something I used to work in. So when I started my channel back in October 2018, I had recently picked up a Big Happy Planner uh, in a vertical layout from Walmart. And so my channel was a journey on one 
just starting a YouTube channel and doing videos, but also working in my happy planner. And I was um, doing it for social media and business because I was trying to grow that. And so I was looking through it today because I'm trying to organize. And after this video, that's probably what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. And I found a month that starts on the first starts on a Thursday. It is currently April 1st. I took the day off. Actually, I'm off on uh, the first. I'm also off on Monday the 5th. And tomorrow, which is Good Friday, uh, we have the day off. It's a holiday for where I work. And so the reason I wanted to find this, if I could, is because I'm going to work in this week right here. And other than that right there, this calendar is correct. And so if you have old calendars or old planners, uh, you may want to look to see if you can repurpose some of yours by just looking, well, does that particular month, it doesn't matter what the year is, but does that particular month start on the same day that you are wanting to work on? So I wanted to work on something that is actually for the week that we're in right now. And that happened to be for July going into August 2019. So I don't have to do anything at the top there, <laughs> which is good. Now I can cover that up. If I remember, I will do so. April only has 30 days, not 31. And it's as easily fixed as that. So this is what we're going to be working on. Now, you guys know, I, if I worked in Happy Planner products, I would definitely prefer something more neutral. With most Happy Planner products, you'll either have every single month is the same or you'll have rotating colors so for this particular month it's pink but i think we can work around it i did want to do this in not necessarily a full-on easter theme but definitely you see elements of easter and i'm going to treat it as if i were back planning for the week and so i worked in the office monday through wednesday and so i want to put some Nope, that's a lie. I worked in the office Tuesday and Wednesday, but I worked this week, Monday through Wednesday. That's the truth. <laughs> okay, I had lunch like two hours ago and I still feel like super full. I had made some Spam wontons. Yeah, it's as delicious as it sounds. And then with the leftover Spam mixture, I had added some eggs in that and then made little like egg foo young type things. And me and my parents just had that for lunch. If you're interested, you take wonton skins you purchase from the grocery store. In a bowl, you cut up Spam lunch and meat. We always have the less salt one just because it's already super salty. And you cut it up in fine dice. You add maybe, well, the way that I did it was I did a can of Spam. I did about a cup and a half of chopped green onions. The finer, the better. The finer you can get the mixture, the better. I added about a tablespoon of soy sauce, uh, a scant half teaspoon of sesame. It's very strong, so we don't like it that much and just a little bit of garlic powder added that into the wonton skins did water around it and then uh, crimp them together really easy really quick and then just do a shallow pan fry you don't need a ton of oil and then with the leftover spam and green onion mixture just added a few eggs in there scrambled it all up and then fried it in the oil that i fried the wontons in i do drain it um quite thoroughly. So for wontons, uh, you don't want them laying down on each other or anything fried. You'd like to have them standing up so that the grease can go down. And then for the little egg foo young things, I did put that on a paper towel that was on a... The only thing that comes to mind is a cookie screen. The wire mesh thing you use when you're baking cookies. Well, paper towels on that and the eggs are on top of that. So it both absorb the oil in the paper towel as well as anything more than that would drip to the plate below. Yeah, that's your cooking lesson for Easter. And, I, <laughs> and the reason why I made that today is because tomorrow is the only day that my family does not eat meat. And that is in honor of my grandmother who was Catholic. And so they did no meat on Good Friday. And so I need to get my meat in now. 
<laughs> because I can't have any tomorrow. I know it's one day. It's not that big of a deal, but still, but still, any hoodles. So uh, the important stuff that I want to mark down, and you might laugh at me when you see what I consider important stuff, I'm going to put with a sticker. And because this is the big academic, or no, it's the big vertical, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's the big vertical layout. Some of the stickers may not fit, but actually so far, that's not a problem. Okay, so I've got that important stuff there. I do want to mark something over here that it's a holiday because this is made for a classic. I'm just surprised the width was the right size. Hmm. Interesting. Sunday is Easter. It's strange that the stickers are so small. Do they not have regular sized? Oh, I guess they do. And where you see the difference is if this were a classic, it would take up the entire box, but it isn't, so it doesn't. This color is a little jarring considering all the pink on the page. I think we can work with it. Let me do it here. Now Saturday, I will be dying eggs. There are no children in this house, but Easter is not Easter unless there is an Easter basket. Now, I think what we're gonna do and what we have been doing is instead of doing an Easter basket for the adults in this house, and there's no one under the age of 40 in this house, <laughs> um, we'll just do one big, uh, Easter basket that has all the chocolate and the jelly beans in it. Uh, I don't like my fruit candy touching my chocolate candy, so the jelly beans will probably be in little baggies or whatnot. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far in the thinking process. And then, like I said, I'm dying eggs. Might be baking. And then Sunday, we're having turkey for dinner. That's not unusual for us. We love us some turkey. And then uh, after we visit my sister um, at the graveyard, then we will have an Easter brunch. So I will prep as much as, of that as I can before we leave. And then when we come back, we'll have a nice Easter brunch. Uh, we'll probably have that around lunchtime. And then we'll put the turkey in when we get home um, and we've eaten brunch and then we'll have turkey for dinner. I did take off the fifth and so it'll be all leftovers all day. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm just looking for stickers to put down to, to kind of write that down. If you're new here, I am not a planner. I don't plan things out. I know what needs to get done and it gets done. But I mean, I have all this space. I have all these stickers. So why not use it? Right? Right. Oh, this could be kind of fun for brunch. So right here, I could do a menu of sorts and I'm just using things that we have in the fridge. And then we can put, I actually really like these deep purple stickers. Nope, they were in here. I know they're not very springy, but they just are so beautiful to me. Let's use it. And if you're wondering if I took off specifically because it's Easter weekend. It's actually less having to do with that. And I like to stagger my vacation days with holidays. And so I get an extended vacation without having to take as many days as you'd think. Plus there's a long gap between 
holidays. So last week we had a holiday here in Hawaii. Today we, or tomorrow we have another holiday and there's going to be another gap, like almost two months before we get to Memorial Day. So I actually plan on taking a couple of days in the beginning of May, uh, just because, yeah, that's just too long to work that much. <laughs> For a Sunday, and I, I know I'm scattered. I'm just I'm trying to attack this and talk at the same time, and sometimes that's just not easy for me. I do have this baby boy sticker book from Happy Planner, and I liked the color of this. Now it is obviously not my first Easter. It's not my first Easter in any kind of way, but that's just easy enough to fix because I like the the font of it. And so we're going to put Easter right there. Hope that's in frame. And I also liked these birds. Now, the, it's very different style than the florals, but I don't care. I think, it, I think they're adorable. So we're gonna put some birds down. I'm not used to working in things this big. It's it's a little cumbersome sometimes. And um, it's been a while since I've worked with this. You might be wondering why I have it. I don't have children, but I love the artwork in there. And so I find that I can find a use for any sticker. It <laughs> doesn't matter what it was made for. I can use it. If it sticks, it works. See now, something like that would have been harder to use because the first is in the color. Like these I can use because I can just uh, take off first Father's Day. As long as it's not in the shot, which sounds weird as a sticker, but so long as it isn't, I can use it. And there's this one going the other way. Let's have it over here. Huh, that's cute. I mean, birds and flowers are a thing, right? I mean, the scale is absolutely wrong, or these are huge, 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 gigantic flowers. That's fine. That's fine. I have forgotten how cute this sticker book is. We're going to use some of these, what are these? Hedgehogs? Armadillos? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever they are, we're using them. That's cute. Okay, so this is way more space than I'd ever need. So I really just want to throw up some stickers on here right now. Let's do that. Let's throw up some florals. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take up some of the space because we don't need it all. And then remember where it is I found this one. Is that? Because that's gorgeous. But that is huge, tastic. The difference is that one is on white paper and this one is on transparent. Actually, this is more purple than that one is. And I don't know if we're at the point that we care about that. <laughs> I love florals. <laughs> you didn't know that about me. Well, now you know. Maybe we can frame this over there. Again, the, the colors aren't the same, but apparently we're just using all the crayons in the pack. So that's, that's fine, right? And again, because in, even if I were using this, I would want to do this. I'd want to cover up as much of the space as I can because I just don't write things down in planners. I'll write like highlight reels, but I don't plan things. And so having this much space has always been intimidating for me. Okay. 
So you're probably wondering what these are. Let me just write that in. So in the cafeteria, <laughs> the lunch for Tuesday, what was the lunch for Tuesday? Yesterday it was fish tacos. I was not a fan. I mean, guys, it was literally two days ago and I can't remember what lunch was. And it's on the phone because <laughs> I took a, um, a video of it. Oh, it was, be uh, it was a beef burrito. Okay, so fish tacos. The texture of the fish was weird. It was not, I, I wanted it to be fish sticks. It wasn't. I wanted it to be something battered. I'm not a huge fan of fish. Um, and that was the very first time I've ever had fish tacos. So as first go, oh, that was, it was not great. So for the cafeteria, um, They'll tell you what they're serving, but it's always not the, the greatest because it's very much fish tacos. Doesn't tell you what kind of fish. It doesn't tell you how it's prepared. Uh, with beef burrito, I was assu assuming it was going to be a shredded beef. It was actually a ground beef and rice burrito. It was mostly rice burrito with some ground beef in it. And so you just, it's a hit or miss kind of thing. But um, it's $5 and it's super close and uh, the way that they do it is they pack 20 lunches in styrofoam containers they put it in a hot box and there is a cash container and so you open the hot box at 11 30 that's when they start uh, and if there's lunch there you take a lunch out you close the hot box then you put your money in because there's no one sitting there. It's absolutely contactless, peopleless. It's on the honor system. You could literally walk in and walk out and not pay a thing. But I mean, why would you do that? Um, but so you never know what you're getting until one, you see if there's still lunch there. And two, you open up your lunch when you're back at your desk and you're like, oh, that's what they meant by that. <laughs> Because even um, I purchased their nachos twice and all they said was it was nachos. And so the first time it was like a like a spicy chili nachos. Everything was separate. That was good. So when they had nachos again on the menu, I'm like, oh, I kind of like that. So let me get it again. It was a completely different nachos. It was like a Kahlua pork nachos. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't what I was expecting. But you can just call it something very simple and then just hope that their interpretation is somewhat similar <laughs> to what your interpretation is. And that's not always the case. Oh, I've been chatty. Sorry. <laughs> just came out of nowhere. All right. I'm going to use this right over here. And we'll stagger that a little bit. So a beef burrito, that was a two of five. If I had nothing else and that's what they were serving, I would get it again. The fish tacos, once I took the fish off, the rest of it was actually okay. So if they, I had nothing, I always have a backup, but if I didn't and they were serving that, I would get it again and just take off the fish. I'll, I'm actually going to be filming that after the pen this weekend. So if you're interested in what these things look like, just look out for that. It's in my Happy Nietzsche Daily Journal video. This here is uh, dye the eggs. So once we dye them, we actually put them in the fridge. And then on Sunday, I'll use them to make deviled eggs that I'll go with um, salad for dinner. And I don't know if I'm baking or if my mom is. And then put together the Easter basket. Tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I might continue to organize my room. I might color. I might just sleep. I will not be eating meat though, so. That's something I am not doing. <laughs> For brunch, I think we're going to do bacon, 
sausage and pancakes because those are quick when we get back and maybe some of the eggs because we like boiled eggs we'll have baked goods whatever we're baking the day before and my mom usually does like a, a bread in the shape of a, a bunny and I might do like a pound cake or a cheesecake or something like that. We have all the ingredients for all of that. So it's just really deciding what it is that we want. And then we'll have coffee and we'll have juice. I won't write down um, dinner because I'm not really in charge of that. I just help with the prep and the sides, but this is something that I will be doing. And now all of the functional things are done. So let's just throw up some stickers. And you guys know my go-to is always going to be florals. I just love them. I love the direction, or I love that some of the newest releases are florals. I'm not gonna be picking any of them because I have so many that are just sitting, plus I have a lot of Amazon uh, florals that I have and so I don't need to add any more of that to my arsenal but I just I love that however I do know that there are quite a few people who are not a fan of florals and so yeah that that might be a little annoying to some I think we should add in a few more animals and then call it a day. Now while I'm doing that, looking for some animals to add in, I'd love in the comment section below if you, one, name this spread, hence the name of the series, but also um, what are your plans for this weekend? I know not everyone celebrates Easter, so are you going to be doing anything fun? I would actually love to know below. Look at those bears. Oh, hey, there's more of those thingies. Maybe they can be over here because we've got the bird on the floor. One of my coworkers the other day, it was so hilarious. I actually had to, when I got back, because I was on my way to the restroom and he, he stopped and he, because he works in a different department. And as I was passing him by, he's like, it's so windy outside. Um, I'm like, yes, <laughs> it's just, I, I need to go to the bathroom. He's like, it's so windy, the birds are walking. I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, they can't use their wings. So they're just walking everywhere. I don't think they like it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought it was so adorable that when I got back, I'm like, do you know what he said? Now, mind you, he's, he probably is in his mid to late 60s, maybe early 70s. And I just, I thought that was too adorable. I don't know why, but I did. And then maybe we'll just add some of these mushrooms. Again, there doesn't seem to be really any kind of theme right because you've got lots of color you've got these florals that only match because they're flowers the the actual colors of them don't necessarily go and then you have these more fanciful stickers not gonna lie i think it's kind of fun and i think we'll do this so the next time you see this video, I will have two new words. You're like, what? Yeah, two new words. I'm gonna look up words on my phone, whether they're in a different language, whether I'm looking up a word of the day that I may not have known. I'm going to put two new words on here because again, how else would I use that sticker? I don't know. So yeah. Let's just do that. And then up here, we're going to cover July and August with the cutest thing. Now, I actually think the last spread that I did was much cuter. You know what? I need more flowers. I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, so this is it. I did add some things. I did move the Easter sticker. I think actually I should have moved it a little bit more to make it more of the focus because um, I think it was a little bit lost up there. I'm pretty sure in another sticker book I have a Good Friday sticker book, so I might go in and, and put that in after the fact. I did add some of these here, and then I just threw up a bunch of florals on here. From a design standpoint, I think the colors are fine. I think I was able to bring in enough colors so that you don't focus on that all of the different floral elements may not match. I think there is enough of this kind of tealy, greeny blue on the page. Uh, I do like the sort of very girly, very florally elements here that are more towards the elegant and then very almost cutesy art elements brought in by those stickers there. I, I like that. I think that's really cute. I think I could have designed this better. It doesn't help that the stickers that I'm using are made for a classic. I think if they were scaled bigger, then you'd see less of the white space. But I mean, it still works. It's just, I don't know that I plan this out. Well, no, I never plan. I don't think I executed this as well as someone else who had more talent and skill could have done with the same elements but it's still fun i'm still happy looking at it and it's absolutely functional and i'm using some of my very old products that i have on hand uh, just because the the dates lined up all right guys well as i mentioned before i'd love to know what you would name this spread i'd also love to know what you're doing for this easter weekend if you have any traditions that you celebrate if you don't celebrate uh, what your plans are please leave them in the comments below if you've not already done so subscribing and liking the video does help my channel grow and as always aloha